since the Battle of Britain has special significance for one woman from Hadfield. Mary Ellis learnt to fly during the war so she could help deliver more than 400 Spitfires to and from air bases around the country. David Wood met her at today's commemorations. The roar of the Merlin engine for many is the sound of the Second World War. And these flying veterans are united once more in the largest gathering of Spitfires and Hurricanes since they were Britain's front line of air defence. Absolutely wonderful, it really is. I've never seen so many Spitfires uh, together on an airfield. Mary Ellis trained to fly the planes at Hatfield. During the war, she was a member of the Air Transport Auxiliary, delivering more than 400 Spitfires to and from air bases across the country. Some people sometimes shocked when you got out of the plane and out of the pilot seats. Yes, that's right. They, they couldn't believe a small person like myself, because I'm not very big, that could fly these. The Battle of Britain lasted from July until October 1940 and was the first major campaign to be fought entirely by air forces. 70 years ago, today, all available Allied fighters were scrambled, all to intercept two of the Luftwaffe's largest aerial assaults. And as part of today's commemorations, a service was also held earlier at London St Paul's Cathedral, attended by veterans, Prime Minister David Cameron, and Labour's new leader, Jeremy Corbyn. And only 70 of these flying veterans are still able to take to the skies 75 years on after they were needed in war. But for those veterans who flew them back then, they all have their own special memories. This one, for example, was very special to Mary Ellis. I wrote my name in it, and it was the only aeroplane I ever wrote my name in. But uh, this Spitfire then went to war, and... Uh, Eventually someone looks at this, so they eventually found me. And so I was reunited with this aeroplane. This morning everyone thought the weather would succeed where the Luftwaffe failed 75 years ago and ground these planes. However, the sun did eventually shine for the tribute to these remarkable machines and the men and women who flew them to win the Battle of the Air.